Hi everybody! Well, it's our third lesson today on using column multiplication. And today we're just going to introduce multiplications which involve zero somewhere in there. I can multiply by zero or maybe a column multiplication which has got zero in it. Not too hard, just a bit of extra practice introducing one thing. We'll start off our starter. I've drawn a number line here. Can you see? Here's the number line, and it shows, it represents a multiplication fact. What multiplication fact does it show, and are there two answers? Pause the video. What do you think? I hope you paused the video. Well, let's see. Is 0 to 5, that means that I did 5. I jumped forward 5, so I added 5. Then from 5 to 10 is another 5, and from 10 to 15 is another 5. So, I was, how many 5s did I jump forward? Well, 3 groups of 5. And I get to the number 15. So, it means 3 groups of 5. I added on 5 one time, two times, three times. And could I have written it another way? Yes, I could have said it's a jump of 5 three times. And both of those multiplication bats are correct for that number line. So let's have a little look. Remind ourselves what we're talking about. When we count up in groups of the same number, we can use multiplication. Adding groups of the same number, that's going to mean multiplication. So, multiplication means counting up in groups of the same number to see how many all together. Okay, and what I've got here is, I've, I've represented it a different way. So look, at the bottom here, I've got... 4 times 3 equals 12. It means 4 groups of 3. So I've got 1 group of 3, 2 groups of 3, 3 groups of 3, 4 groups of 3. 3 times 3, 3 groups of 3. I've drawn 1, 2, 3 groups of 3. 2 groups of 3, 2 times 3. 1 group of 3. Now my question is, what would 0 times 3 look like? Huh. 0 times 3. What would it look like? What would we write? How would we explain it? Pause the video. What would you put for 0 times 3? Hmm. I hope you paused the video. Well, what does 0 times 3 mean? 0. 0 times 3. It means zero groups, or maybe it means no groups of three. Four, three, two, one, zero, or no groups of three, nothing. Well, I'd better draw ha, nothing. Nothing. Don't draw anything because zero times three means no groups of three. So zero times three is zero altogether. And we can see what it is when we multiply by zero or when we count up in zeros this way. Here's a bar model. What multiplication does it show? Well, multiplication is the same number each time. Groups the same number. Five here, five here, five here. So, what number is the same each time? Well, it's the number 5. How many times is it the same number 5? 3. 1 time, 2 times, 3 times. So, to work out how many altogether, it would be 5, add 5, add 5 equals 15. We know that that's multiplication. 3 times 5 equals 15. Could I have done it a different way? Of course. I could have said it's the number 5 three times. Okay, so that, now we're seeing it as a bar model. Oh, what 
does this bar model show? Well, it shows a multiplication again. Can you fill in the gaps at the bottom? Have a go. Pause the video. Fill in the gaps if you can. OK. Well, let's answer the questions. What number is the same each time? Well, it's 0, and it's 0, and it's 0. So what number is the same each time? 0. How many times is it the same number? Three times. Same as four. One, two, three. So it's zero. Add zero. Add zero. Nothing. Add nothing. Add nothing. That's nothing. Still nothing. So three times zero equals zero. And I could have said it's zero three times. And we still get zero. Now, remember, when we add zero, just adding, not multiplying, we're adding nothing. So let's imagine that I have five biscuits. There's a plate with five biscuits here. So, yeah, this is plate one. And then on the other plate, square plates in Mr. Max's house, no biscuits. When we put them together, well, five add zero is five, or zero add five is five. But we must remember multiplication is slightly different. All of these plates have no biscuits. Look, there are no biscuits on this plate, zero biscuits on this plate, zero and zero biscuits. There are no biscuits. So it would be zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. How many times is it zero? Four times zero. Well, how many biscuits are there? There are zero biscuits. No biscuits. Nothing. We're hungry at this party. OK. Now, if we do it without a bar model or without any pictures, let's see. Can we turn this addition into a multiplication? Well, how many zeros is it? One. Two, three, four, five zeros. So it's five times zero. One, two, three, four, five times zero. Well, let's see. Zero, add zero, add zero. We're always adding nothing. Our answer is zero. Five times zero is zero. Or zero times five is zero. When we multiply by zero, the product is always zero. Oh, stop. OK. Now, that's useful to know. And, of course, very useful to know because sometimes our multiplication, column multiplication, in of zero. So let's have a go at this one. 180 times 7. I've written it out nice and neatly, and I start off by doing the units. Always start with the 1. Start on the right-hand side here, the smallest value column, the 1s, or the units. 0 times 7. What's that going to be? Well, it's got to be 0, hasn't it? That's what we said. No groups of 7. 8 times 7 is 56. 1 times 7 is 7. 7 add 5 oh, is 12. That's good. Don't forget what we're learning. Just revising our column multiplication and seeing how we can you work with zero. 2,103 times 3. Well, which side shall we start with? Always start on the right-hand side with the smallest value column. Here it's the 1s. Start with the 1s. 3 times 3 is 9. Now we're on to the 10s. Oh, no 10s. 0 10s. 0 times 3 
is 0. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Of course, that's 2,000 times 3 is 6,000. 6,309. So we're practicing those things. And if you think that's a bit easy, then you can have a go on the challenge level and we're just going to practice this. So we've got a question here. Something divided by 3 is 15. Now some of you might be thinking, I know that one, Mr. McMullen, it's 5. And if you think to yourself, that must be 5, the answer, I'm afraid, is that it is not 5. Let's think more carefully. Well, I can see that I've got the dividing symbol here. Dividing means starting with a whole and splitting it into however many equal parts. So here, the whole amount is split into three equal parts. This three means three equal parts. So the question means what number when we split it into three equal parts, has 15 in each part. I could draw a bar model. So I'm going to draw, and I've got to draw three equal parts that make up the whole number. I'm going to use the squares here to help me to draw it slightly more neatly. So the whole number, the whole number is split into three parts. One, two, three parts. And it's 15 in each part. 15. 15. Uh -huh. The whole amount is, we're going to be able to work it out by doing 15 times 3. Because it's 3 15s. 15 times 3, when we work that out, is 45. So our whole amount is 45. And our missing number here is 45. OK, we'll do one more. And then I'll show you your work. Oh, let's see. There is a number. I don't know what it is. But it's the whole number. The whole amount. Split into four equal parts. And 135 means 135 in each of the four parts. How many parts shall I draw to make the whole? OK, well, it shows the whole number is split into four equal parts. Let me draw four parts using the squares. One part, two parts, three parts, four parts. And all the parts together will make the whole. Well, the whole amount split into four parts. I've drawn that. 135 in each of the parts. 135 in the first part. 135 in the second part. 135 in the third part. 135 in the fourth part. So the whole is one, two, three, four times 135. 135 times four, five times four, whoops, getting a bit messy, is 20. Three times four is 12. Add on the two, 14. One times four is four. Uh, four add one is five. And our answer is 540. Does that look about the right answer? Hmm, I think so. 4 times 100 will be 400. 4 times 30, 120. Yes, we're looking for a number that's a bit more than 520. We've got it. That's great. So here is your work. Have a go. Three levels. If Level 3 was confusing, you don't have to do it. Give it a go if you want. But I'm looking forward to seeing all your work on Google Classroom.
Okay. Bye, guys.